Those are bad Show that bitch yeah. right. Yeah, that's how you handle things. Hey, come on, bro. Leave his ass. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, you still with us? Hold it. What's up? You guys don't want to see this. Trust me. Uh, uh, what? I, is he okay or not? Hey! Oh. Insane. They just cut him wide open. The last thing we want is to join him. We need to move fast. Hurry! <coughs> Get up, man. We gotta go. You saw it. That was how the Barracuda sent a message. Before, I'd only heard stories. Never thought I'd have to see the real thing. You all right there, man? Hell no, I'm not. We could have gotten killed just now. And no one would even miss us. The cops would just walk away, leave the case unsolved. You saying they let a pack of killers roam free? As they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Same as the Yakuza in Japan, right? Take it from a local. We really need to call it a night. Tough as you two are, even you guys can't take on a whole army. Yeah, all right. All right. Got it. What's up? You sleep deprived or something? Yeah, couldn't sleep a wink. Just tossing and turning all night. Hey now, sleep is life. You gotta take care of yourself. I'll let you borrow this, so try it out tonight. What? Don't tell me it's sleeping pills. I don't... Special theory of relativity through quantum mechanics. It's a book. Holy <laughs> shit, it's huge! You actually carry this fucker around? Yeah, you read a few pages and you're in snooze land before you know it. Yeah, but... What do I do with the other 944 pages? All right. Nah, I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Oh, come on. This is a genuine driver's license. It's got to be worth at least 70. Brother, 50 bucks, take it or leave it, yeah? I doubt someone else would give you the time of day. Oh, fine, tight ass. Jeff, how's it hanging? <laughs> well, if it isn't Eric Tomizawa, you hit upon a camera? Or did you want some carne asada? No, and hell no. Huh, who have we here? My passport got stolen three days ago. You see it? Ah, <sighs> gee, I don't know. Let me ask my manager. Dude, you really gonna hold out on us? Last time I checked, bro, I wasn't running a charity. Ah, oh, pretty please. I accept all payments in cash. Come back when you actually have business, huh? Well, you heard the bastard. We're gonna need to pay him up front. How much is he gonna want? Eh, somewhere around 30 bucks. Might be able to haggle it down, though. 
Ugh, still pretty steep. Guess I'll need to come up with some cash. Well, whatever. If that's what it takes to find Chitose, I'll do it. Hmm. Chitose. Hey, you two. Over here. Huh? What happened to over here? You looking for a woman named Chitose? Uh, yeah. You got any info? I might have an idea of where you could find her. <laughs> Pretty young thing, right? Got her hair and braids like a dancer? Yeah, yeah! That's gotta be her! Where'd you last see her, old-timer? Take this. This is... for sex work? Like an escort service? Well, can't say you're asking the right guy, but my guess is it's for scoring some intimate time, if you catch my drift. See, the other day, while I was dozing off around here, a guy dialed up the number on that flyer. And then, that Chitose girl showed up. Oh man, she was unforgettable. Just couldn't take my eyes off her. From what I heard, she's that company's top talent. Hmm. Sounds like we have us a lead. Let's give him a ring. And, and hey, good looking out. But I gotta ask, why bother helping a couple of strangers? <laughs> Always happy to assist my fellow Japanese. Not to mention, Jeff's a douche. Makes me sick to watch him profit off of what he does. Well, guess what? You're a lifesaver, man. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. If you do find her, just buy me a drink next time you pass by. You got it. Heck, I'll even take you bar hopping. Okay, you ready? Do it. Yes, hello. You've reached Gary's love camp. Hi! Uh, hello! I, I saw your flyer and decided to call. Uh, I'm, I'd like to invite a, a woman over. Huh? Congratulations! You're our hundredth customer. To celebrate, your service today is on the house. Luck is in your favor, my friend. Oh, for real? Thanks! Now then, could you please provide your name and current location? The name's Koska. I'm, uh, next to Chef's Taco Truck. Oh, that's quite a sketchy spot. I completely understand your concern. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm concerned, exactly. Okay, well in that case, I'll send you one of our up-and-comers. Still wet behind the ears, but get the job done. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Actually, I was wondering if I could request Chitose, if possible. You want to request a Tose? Uh, just a moment, please. Hmm. Hmm. Today really is your lucky day. As our rising star, Chitose's usually all booked up, but she does have an opening right now. Oh, what a relief. If you could, please send her on over. Of course. She'll be there lickety-split. Thank you for your business. Did it work? Yep, Chitose's on her way. She'll be here lickety split, the guy said. Good. Strange, though. I thought these businesses only sent someone to your hotel. But not that I'd know. Come to think of it, yeah. Maybe it's more like a dating service. Like where you meet up somewhere and go to the hotel later. Or that's a thing these days. You sure know your stuff. You, uh, do this pretty often? Oh, not at all. It, it's just, I was raised in a soap land, so this kind of deal's second nature to me. No kidding. You learn something new every day. It's nothing special. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting! Oh, looks like she's here. Huh? Where? Over here! What? Hiya! <laughs> Whoa! Who are you? Oh, um, 
Are you Mr. Kasuga? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I'm Chitose. <laughs> Can't believe we found you so quickly. What a flawless plan. Nice going, Kasuga. What? What? Mm hmm? That's not her at all! What? We've got the wrong one? Yeah, this chick's completely different. What the hell, old man? Huh? Uh, don't blame me. Isn't this what you're looking for? My name's Titose. It's similar, too. I mean, yeah, the hair's the same, and, and that name sure is a coincidence. But a uh, Titose isn't so... Uh, chiseled. What, am I not good enough for you? Talk about rude. No, look, it, it's not like that. You're plenty good. Chitose uh, san Hey, you shithead's making a racket. That's it. Time to shut you people up! We can figure this out later, Kasuga. Let's take care of these guys first. Uh, right. Hey, Chitose-san. Things are about to get rough, so stay behind us. Why? I ain't afraid of little boy over here. And besides, isn't this what you called me over for? Huh? I I'm not sure I understand. You requested me, Chitose Buster Holmes from Poundmates? Poundmates is a unique service that deploys fabulous fighters to help combat your pugilistic problems. Sorry, what? Hey, nobody fucking annoys me and lives to speak about it. You bitches are dead! Let's do this, Kasuga. Hell yeah! I'll sue you! Show me what you got. Do your worst. What's the whole game? Just try me. Here's the one. Uh, hey, you bring found me. Oh, oh yeah, yes, thank you. Delivery. Special delivery. Count on ya. I'll get yeah. you. I won't hold that. Oh, come on. Ow. Yeah. Something wrong? day. Bro, who the hell are these dudes? And that chick, she's a monster. So, gonna run like a chicken? Or do we still got beef? What's it gonna be? Ah! Oh, please, please don't hurt me. And that does it for your free trial. Next time I'll have to charge, but I hope to see you again soon. Uh, sure. Alrighty, doodles! What was that all about? Well, that was pound mates. Whenever you're in a pinch, press pound to order some backup. You really do know your stuff. You do this often, too? I may have gone through a phase. <laughs> Good old pound mates. Never would have guessed they'd expand all the way into Hawaii. Talked about going global. Now, she wasn't the Chitose I expected, but she was a damn cool Chitose in the end. Ah. Hmm? 
What? Hi. Yes. in Hawaii. I mean, Ijincho had a bunch, but there feels like more here. Chickens, too. And the birds' behavior seems subtly different. If you eat outside, before long, they all start closing in on you. Kiryu-san, you ever have a meal stolen by a pigeon? No. I've been surrounded by 20 ones, but I held my ground. Though, it was a 10 standoff. Wow. Even pigeons respect Kiryu's glare. Movie theater hot dogs are so dang good. I know exactly what you mean. Same deal with popcorn. Location really makes the meal. <laughs> yeah, eating inside the theater totally sets the mood. I go out and watch movies just so I can get my hands on that hot dog. I'm not sure what to say about the order of your priorities. We're really opening up. There are street performers in Japan, but Hawaii's go all out. You turn a corner and there's someone swallowing fire. There's a lot of history behind public performance here. And this area is especially popular with turks. A lot of acts have actually gotten their start just nearby. Oh, so these streets are like gateways to fame. In a jean show, there was a guitar duo that got big from busking. Guess it's kind of like that here. From street performer to signs? <laughs> Ain't that the dream. Oh, why don't we try it? We could get scouted. And make our major label debut. Sounds fun, all right. Yeah, let's rock the world! We'll change entertainment forever! Wait, wait. first, we we've got to learn sheet music. You're not joking, are you? Aloha! Hey! Too hot! Hmm? Tread waves on the pavement with a street surfer. Would you like to take a spin? Right now, membership is totally free. Hey, excuse me. We're currently having a promotion for the street surfer. Membership is absolutely free. Are you interested? In a street surfer? No way in hell I'm setting foot on that death trap. Uh, but wait, it's not effective anymore. Uh, just give it another chance. Uh, nobody understands. Beauty, that is my street surfer. Well, what's a street surfer? <clears throat> ah, good sir. How about a cruise on a new and improved street surfer? We're currently doing free trials, and membership is free too. It's a world-class deal. How about it? Oh, I'm gonna need some more information. What exactly is a street surfer anyway? You've never heard of it. Strange. It was blowing up all over the place before. 
Okay. Yep. Anyway, let's not get hung up on the details. I'm Oka, inventor of the Street Surfer. Patent pending. All right. I'm Ichiban Kasuka. Kasuka-san, good to meet you. And thanks for being willing to hear me out. Well then, <clears throat> the Street Surfer is an all-electric, eco-friendly light vehicle. Two decades of painstaking R&D in the making. Oh, well, so you ride this thing? Looks a bit funky to me. Oh, contraire. This baby here is gonna revolutionize the industry. Forget about e-boards and e-bikes. For starters, there's no kicking or pedaling involved. Just chillax and enjoy the ride. Believe me, it's the most user-friendly mobility tech out there. The only effort you need is to hop on and go. Huh. Well, that does sound handy. But if it's so great, why was everyone avoiding you just now? Oh, well, the truth is, I made a teensy little blunder during development, and... Uh... And? <laughs> you see, remember when I said my invention blew up? News about it spread across the entire island. Uh, sure. I may not use the internet much, but I know all too well when something blows up on it. That's what happened, right? Uh, no. I mean, yes, I did get raked over the coals online, but you see, it blew up in more ways than one. Meaning? Well, there were a few kinks and hiccups to be ironed out with the Street Surfer back then, and uh, the thing had the tendency to uh, explode. So the damn thing blew up for real? I nearly died of humiliation. Uh, but I assure you, that's all in the past. After some deep soul searching, I decided to fix all the bugs and do the test runs myself. That's 500 million instances of trial and error right there. I nearly lost my life pouring blood, sweat, and tears into this invention on numerous occasions. But it was all worth it, because now this thing runs like a champ. It's the safest, most innovative vehicle to hit the market. However, my past failures haunt me to this day. I can't shake all the bad press, so no one will give it a chance. But I have absolute confidence in the latest model. If I could just get people to give it a shot, I'm sure things would take off from there. I get it. Sounds like you're in a tough spot. Well, if those battle scars are any evidence, it shows you're at least passionate about your product. So, what do you say? Will you take a leap of faith? You're the first person to hear me out in ages. I'm sure you won't regret giving it a try. You, you sure that thing's not gonna blow sky high? I swear it! <laughs> These lacerations are proof of progress! Gotcha. Then, challenge accepted. Let's give it a whirl. All right, thank you so much! Now please, before you change your mind, right on! Sure beats running around. Actually, it rides pretty smooth. Whoa, look at this thing go! I must say, you're a natural. So, what do you think? Well, it's a lot cooler than I expected. It's almost easier than walking. And that's saying something. Music to my ears, good sir. <laughs> you don't know how much I've been yearning to hear those words. Oh, what have we here? That street surfer wannabe's at it again. What a dumbass. Not only is that shit lame, it's a ticking time bomb. Sorry, can I help you? Or perhaps clear something up? While there were some development issues in the past, I can assure you, the Street Surfer's current incarnation is as safe as it gets. What? You calling me a liar? Just for that, I'm gonna dunk this thing. No, stop! You're hurting it! <laughs> All right, and who we got here? A satisfied customer. See, I just had a blast on the Street Surfer. Might even sign up as a bona fide member. So why not treat it with a little more respect? Or, you know, 
At least have the stones to try it out. Are you really talking to me about respect? Okay then, how about I junk you first? Give me all your cash. The battle is on! Cool. All right. Huh? Follow my lead. You're in it now. Are you scared? Yeah. Ow. Ah. Oh. Looks like I'm up. I won't hold back. Could be it. Ah, ow, ah, yeah. We have a winner. We made it. Cram, or you still can. Kasuga-san, are you all right? Oh, you really went out of your way. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. You guys like that bug me anyhow. More important, is the surfer still intact? I kicked the living crap out of it, but it'll survive. Alas, better safe than sorry. It's back to the lab with this one. If all the damage caused another malfunction, that'd be the end for sure. Right, good point. Hey, so, um, uh, earlier, you mentioned considering a street surfer membership. You still on board? Yeah. I've honestly taken a liking to it. And it's free right now anyway, right? <laughs> Plus, you seem to be in need of people, so... Oh, wow! That's so great to hear! In fact, it's a dream come true! So when I register, I'll be able to ride these anytime I want? Yes. Except in places where recreational vehicles are banned, you can basically ride them wherever, whenever. However, they run on electricity. So after using it for a while, you'll need to charge it up. This you can do at one of my specially branded charging stations, an Oka Charger, located sporadically throughout Hawaii. Now street surfers do cost money to recharge, but the more you charge at once, the more bang you get for your buck. You can also modify the appearance and functionality of your surfer at a charging station, so please tinker to your heart's content. Got it. Hawaii is pretty big, so I was kind of worrying about transportation. Oh, this will be a huge help. I'm so glad to hear that. In the meantime, I'll be working hard to expand my services for your convenience. Well then, guess I'll leave you to it. For sure. Take care. Yeah, you too, Kasuga-san. Yes? It seems that kicking the device triggers combustion. Uh, but not to worry. I will fix this. Somehow. Around here, you said? This place has delivery jobs? It should, anyway. They hang out for a while. They'll show up. I, I, I'm gonna take off. Uh, good luck to you. That's it? Figured you were staying. I don't know why you thought that. I am a taxi driver, not some pedal-pushing bike boy. Take it sleazy. For a job, bro? Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, all right. Hmm. 
Wild fro, unique face. Getting a real wholesome moron vibe from you. Crazy, I dig it. You got a problem? Who the hell are you anyway? Me? I'm from the company you applied to. Crazy Eats. Food so fast you'll think you've gone crazy. Call me Charlie. You're from... Seriously? Uh, sorry. My name's Ichiban Kasuga. I'm flat broke, so I need any work you've got. I beg you. <laughs> nice, nice. I like a guy who just lays it all out like that. You might just have what it takes to be crazy. Okay, you're in, Ichi bro. Welcome aboard. Huh? Uh, hell yeah! Just like that? Sure, you've got the goods. More importantly, we're short staff. We'll hire anybody these days. Dogs, monkeys, bugs, shit, you name it. I, I uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Yep, now, enough chit chat. Let's get you rolling. Sure, so, um, what's the job like? I only know it's some kind of food delivery. Yeah, that's right. We pick the food up and bike it on over to customers. The real money is in tips, by which I mean the only money you keep is from tips. More deliveries, more dinero. All right, I deliver the food. The faster I go, the more I make. You know, when I was really hard up, I used to bike around for empty cans. I got this. <laughs> That's wild, man. I should tell you, though, there's one other way to earn moolah on this gig. Something that'll boost my pay? Hell yeah, I'm all ears. Well, I'm talking about delivering crazy. What does that mean? I mean, we're crazy eats, aren't we? A crazy delivery is what we strive to embody. Crazy is captivating. Crazy is captivating? For example, Consider how I made my entrance just now. Jumping, spinning around, screaming. It's captivating stuff, wouldn't you say? Seeing our delivery associates act fun and funky is exactly what Crazy Eats is all about. The extra service we provide. We want to make the people of Hawaii laugh and smile with our outside of the box way of doing things. That's how Crazy Eats disrupts the entire delivery industry. Look where we are. People come here for a reprieve from the dull and ordinary. Do you really think food delivery in paradise should be the same as it is everywhere else? It's a nice idea, but writing like that? Wouldn't all of it just spill? That's where your skill as a contract deliverist comes in. Ride as fantastically as you can without making a mess of the food and go fast. Somewhere in all that chaos, lies the brilliance of a true crazy profession. And listen, even if the food does take a spill, we got insurance for it. Customers will hopefully be understanding. Of course, we don't insure the deliverer, so look out for yourself. Anyway, all that sound good to you? You in? Sure, I'm in. Okay. That's more than enough onboarding. Learn by doing, I say. How's about you give it a go right now? Delivery! 
Good delivery. Delivery. Delivery! Thanks for calling! This is great! Oh. Genius! Crazy delivery! Anytime! Time to heat things up! How's that? Genius! This is crazy! Red! Super crazy delivery! Call us again! Start Way to go! Cool. Great delivery! Delivery! Oh. Cool. Let's party! How's that? Cool. Great delivery! Thanks for calling! This is great! Cool. Great delivery! Anytime! Good delivery! Always oh, appreciated! Good delivery! Delivery! Sorry. Thanks! Oh. Cool. Sweet party! Great delivery! Thanks, Thanks for man. calling! Oh. Oh. Good delivery! Anytime! Good delivery! Call us again! Start. Thanks! Battle of the metal! Good delivery! Delivery! Hurry up! Good delivery! Thanks for calling! Good delivery! Anytime! Let's nice party! Time to beat things up! Delivery! Jeez, I love this. Let's fly! Yeah! Excellent! I'm on top of the world! Hard work. Oh man, now that's pretty crazy. Ooh, that's the last of it. Excellente! Ichi, bro, that was sick! You almost never see someone disrupt so hard on their first go. My man, 
Crazy deliveries might just be what you were born to do. <laughs> Thanks. It was tough, but once I got into a groove, pretty fun. Oh, <laughs> isn't it? The rush of speed, the danger of bailing, the insanity of your presentation. Oh, it's like ecstasy. You can't get that feeling from just riding a bike. You need the pressure of delivering. For most people, it's too much. Adrenaline demons like you, bro, you're gonna master it and get rich! Work hard and become the craziest delivery associate we've ever had. Oh, hey, let me give you this. Something to commemorate your first run. Thanks. Glad to be working with you, Charlie. Ditto, bro. This is your calling. I know it. Remember, ABC, always be crazy. Totally. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's you. I've got your money. Is this enough to get you to talk? Hmm, I suppose. What should I be talking about again? My passport got stolen three days ago. I want to know if someone brought it by. Hmm. Someone sure did. Really? She was Japanese, and not to mention gorgeous. No doubt that passport was yours. <laughs> I couldn't forget that thuggish face or blown up hair if I tried. Okay, so she sold it to you? Oh no, she wasn't here to make money. She just wanted to know if it would get her into District 5. District 5? Uh, that's the Barracuda's hideout. Their hideout? You mean the guys from yesterday? Yeah, they got a squatter encampment across the river. It's all fenced in with guards posted up at every corner. And if you're not one of them, huh, well, good luck getting in. Or out. Okay, and how's my passport supposed to get someone in? Well... They have an interesting rule. If you're an outsider, they tell you to go steal a passport. Why is that exactly? That's how they make their money, fabricating passports. Apparently, the only way to make a good fake is by altering an original. Every passport I buy, I sell to them. Though not directly, of course. So someone else's passport is your ticket to District 5, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> and the girl who came by with yours, that ticket's probably long gone. Though, a girl like her should not be anywhere near District 5 by herself. Oh, wait. I tried to tell her, but no. Nobody listens to Jeff. Then what would make her even want to go in there? Beats me. But I doubt you'll see your passport again, brother. Once it's in District 5, it does not leave. Well, I need it back. Now I've got business with the thief who took it. Yeah, well you can kiss your thief goodbye too. Unless you follow her into District 5 somehow, your adventure ends here, pal. Well, you heard him. I'd rather live to see tomorrow, so... Listen, Akane-san's mixed up in some real bad stuff. Someone might even be holding her captive. And right now, Chitose's our only lead. Can we get into District 5 another way? <laughs> I mean, maybe, but you're better off just swiping a passport. Hey, if there's another way, just tell us. Look, bottom line, District 5 is an impenetrable fortress of bumps. But if you're a cop, you could probably get in. A cop? Yeah, <laughs> they do a monthly sweep there, claiming it's for safety reasons. But they just walk in and out, ignoring all the atrocities inside. They're just doing it to keep up appearances. All they care about is that, and donuts. Anyway, if you want to know the guy in charge, his name is Roman. He's probably in deep with the Barracudas. So we'll ask Roman to bring us along on patrol. That could be an option. Man, I never want to see a cop again. True, you're still a wanted man. Maybe leave the talking to me. 
Mm, guys, you gotta realize, Roman's gonna flag this as a risk. And he's a greedier jerk-off than me. Expect to pay him 50,000 bucks. Uh, a buck's like a hundred yen, right? That'd be... Five million in yen? Please don't bring him yen. And besides, there's no way you can afford it. Is it clear you're wasting your time yet? No, I'd say this is our chance. Why? <laughs> you have a mattress full of money lying around? No. Everything is negotiable, that's all. Huh. Well, I don't know who you think you are, but what's the harm in trying? He drinks every night at Diamond Head, a bar by District 5. We Akamai now? Sure. Hey, we really doing this? Hey, guys, could you hold up a second? Why? Something wrong? You really shouldn't go to District 5. I'm saying this for your own good. Waltzing right into Barracuda Turf? It's practically suicide. We're aware of the danger, but we don't have time on our side. If going into District 5 is the quickest way to solve things, then so be it. Right. And it's not like we're out to wreck the place. We're just gonna look for Chitose and get out. Yeah, if things play out right, we might not have to deal with the Barracudas at all. See? It's exactly that kind of thinking that's gonna get us all killed! <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe they're more dangerous than we realize because we're not from here. But what's this really all about? Something tells me you've got more to say. You have history with the Barracudas? Is that it? You know, you can always tell us. What makes you think we wouldn't help? He's right. And until you talk, he'll hound you to the ends of the earth. You know how persistent he is. Really gotta put it like that? Uh... So, this is far from a fun story. And not a short one either. It all happened a few years back. I was just a simple taxi driver. No Yamai, no cons, nothing like that. So you really were an honest cabbie, once? Yeah, well, I also wasn't rich, but I was happy. I had a woman to love, and man, did she love me. I believe we almost had a kid, and look it back. Those were the best days of my life. Huh. Never knew you had a family. And my girl. Her name was Marie. She was... astounding. And you guys would have loved her. Anyway, she was nearly... six months pregnant when it happened. And the cops showed up at our place with a warrant for my arrest. They came to arrest you? For what? They said I held up a cab and stole a bunch of money from some executive. What the hell? I was being framed, obviously. But the witnesses kept pouring in. And before I knew it, the judge gave me five years in prison. And the attorney had told me if I tried pleading innocent, they'd lock me for 15 years instead. So you pled guilty then? Yeah. It was either I swallow the five years or take the risk and triple it. And I was too broke to hire a better lawyer. It was like a nightmare I couldn't wake up from. I had my whole life ahead of me, and then in an instant, it was gone. <sighs> I never even understood why. That is, till I got to prison. Turns out I wasn't the only one screwed over like this. They told me so themselves. You mean, the guys in prison? Yeah. Apparently, the Barracudas get away with so much shit because their boss will set up innocent people instead. They'll bring in a bunch of fake witnesses or buy out the police if he has to. You remember Roman, that cop Jeff mentioned? He's the guy pulling the strings on the law side. <sighs> Seems not a lot's changed since then. So the Barracudas have the police in their pocket. 
Uh, how'd Marie take it? When I got locked up, she only came to see me once. She told me she miscarried. No. And she was under so much stress. Should have seen it coming. I doubt she was eating right or getting any sleep. Her eyes were sunken. She was thin as a bone. All because this bullshit that happened to me. And that was the last I saw of her. When I got out, couldn't find a single trace of her. Honestly, I just hope that she's out there doing okay. I told you this wasn't gonna be fun. And that's only half the story. Once I was free, I started hanging by this fancy restaurant in District 5. Why? Because word inside was that it was the favorite haunt of the Barracuda's boss. So I spent every last cent I had to my name and bought a gun. Shit. For revenge. For Marie. For a child who never had a chance at life. I knew what the boss looked like. I'm not sure anymore how long it took, but I kept watching until the day he showed his face. When I was locked up, always imagined it going the exact same way. I rushed past his goons, stepped right up to him, and emptied my whole clip point blank. And the moment came. I was shaken. Couldn't move. <sighs> He even had fewer guards than I'd pictured. Should have been easy. Bastard walked right past me. He didn't have a care in the world. I'm a fucking coward. Maybe. But that's why you're alive today. If you'd gone through with it, you would have been killed. Just another gutted corpse. At least I'd have been killed for a reason. What am I now? A ghost? Robs tourists with a gun he hasn't got the courage to shoot? Isn't it better to die for something than to live for nothing? Tomisawa. With all my money gone, I fell in with Yamai to pay my debts. He's the only man left in Hawaii still stupid enough to compete with the Barracudas. What's that say about me? Huh? I'm even stupider for following him. Maybe I was hoping he'd be able to take them down someday. But I knew it'd never happen. So that's my story. Hope you realize now who you're dealing with. Not just the Barracudas. With scum like me. Well, you sure set us straight about how bad the Barracudas can get. Yeah. Their ties with the police are worrying. But listen. You've got yourself all wrong, Tomizawa. Huh? You're not a bad guy. And you're no coward. I saw you walk away from Yamai. That took real courage. He might have killed you, but you knew it was the right thing to do. Come on, man. You talked me into it. That doesn't matter. You made the decision. It was your call. Nobody else's. Now, no more robbing people, okay? Do we agree on that? Yeah. <laughs> After all you've been through, I get that this may be a fight you want to walk away from. But if you really think you're scum, that you're just another criminal, this might be the only way to change that. A way to start living again. <sighs> Look, killing the boss of the Barracudas or not, that's another call you'll have to make yourself. All I know is that I'm not going to stand by and let them keep getting away with their shit. And if you're up for it, I know you'll be able to help us take them down. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> if you haven't noticed, our English is pretty rough. We could use a translator. Besides that, we need to find Akane-san fast. That means going to District 5. And I don't know anybody as well acquainted with the Hawaiian underworld as you. Help us out, and maybe get the chance to set things right. Not a bad deal, is it? What do you think, Kiryu-san? Hmm. It may be dangerous. But it could also be your one path to redemption. <laughs> you two are some lousy salesmen, honest. If you're still planning to take the Barracudas on after all you've heard, 
We are. And fine. I'll go with you. Do-gooders like you? The Barracudos will eat you alive without me. Yeah. <laughs> eat you alive. I get it. <laughs> Glad to have you on board, Tomizawa. You're both nuts. Fine. First things first. We find Roman. You have a good eye for teammates. <laughs> it's not hard to tell when someone needs a friend. Let's do this. A cafe. Now that could be real nice. Running a chill little spot by the ocean, whipping up coffee for my regulars, just catching up, getting out. <sighs> what a serene way to go about life. You're a bit of a people person, Ichiban. So you are perfect for front of house. What? You're counting me as one of your staff already? Oh, you bet. So start networking. Bring in those regulars and get me some discounted supplies. Here we go again. Tell me the hustler. Might as well get to work. All right. Got it. I just can't get over how Beautiful the ocean is here. Better make the most of it and go for a dip sometime. Well, at least the crowd's friendly. Gonna guess you're Roman? And I'm gonna guess you're new in town. Welcome to Hawaii, pal. Seems you're quick to make friends. The taco guy told me all about you. Uh. Yeah, he said there's some real snaky people trying to join the Barracudas. <laughs> Good old Jeff. Always looking out for his fellow citizens. This guy's already pissing me off. Do all American cops love to hear themselves talk? Jeff, you 
dirty, stinking asshole. I'll tell you right now, we're not interested in joining a gang. All we want is to get into District 5 and get out. We heard you could make that happen. Oh, you did? Well, I do lead a regular patrol there, but come on. Do I look like the type to go around making backroom deals? And you? You're that John Doe who bolted out of the station. I don't think you're in any position to be asking me favors, especially concerning District 5. You tell me something, Roman. You a family man? And why should you care? I just thought a bright, honest cop like yourself might have a family waiting at home. I envy that, you know? Well, I do have a bombshell of a wife. But my son, there's my pride and joy. Kid's turning 20 this year. How <laughs> time flies. Yeah, it's funny, he keeps asking me for a sports car. What he wants is 50 grand. Can you believe it? I mean, I'm just a glorified beat cop. You know how little they pay me? You know, if only there was someone out there, some kind soul who could grant my son's wish. Ah, oh, but surely there's no one that generous. <laughs> Did he really just ask for 50 grand? <laughs> Maybe Jeff's not such an asshole after all. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? Feeling generous today? The way I see it, you boys don't have much of a choice. I'm sure you noticed, but me and my guys run the show here. One wrong move might land you a trip to the coroner's office. <laughs> Whatever happened to protect and serve, huh? <laughs> Roman. If all you're after is money, you'll have to try someone else. Now, I suggest you take us to District 5 before things get out of hand. <laughs> what did you just say? Also, we'll need his record cleared of any and all false charges. You're hardly the first cop I've seen point a gun. But the ones I know only do it to save a life. To uphold the values they believe in. Stay back. Maybe I have no right to say this, but seeing scum like you hold a badge, it makes me sick. I said stay back! <laughs> well, that was reckless. All I'm doing is talking, and yet you pop one off. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Tomizawa, ready for action? Huh. Never been more ready. No need to go soft, boys. I want to see these fuckers in a coma! Your face is me off. Okay, you asked for it. I won't hold back. Don't need time to put you down. Follow my lead. All right. 
Time to put you down! Go! 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 Looks like I'm up. Got you now. Armed and ready. I'll take you on. You're in. I'm gonna shut you down. I won't hold back. Cool. Brace yourself. Yeah. Right. I have no one in the back. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Learning more every day. Hey! I'm even stronger now. Eat shit! Fucker! You eat shit! Why'd you do that? Uh, do what? You nearly got your head blown off just now! Oh! <laughs> True that. Close one, huh? <laughs> More than close, dumbass! How the hell can you just throw your life away? The hell? <sighs> no brainer, man. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. <sighs> oh, uh, which reminds me, how's the hair? Ah, oh, shit, don't tell me. Curious son I don't have a bald patch, do I? I think the bullet ripped a chunk out. Does it look bad? Hmm, can't say I see any difference. The tips are a bit burnt, but your hair looks like it's seen more bullets than one. What? Because it's standing up on end? Look, pal, I'll have you know this is a custom job, okay? Special order, top of the line cut. I paid money for They're this. on another level. Let me get this straight. Not only are you a Barracuda pawn, you've been using your position to frame people? I asked you a question. Yeah, that's right. And Tomizawa and Kasuga here are two of your latest victims? Yeah. Yeah. What of it? Goddamn son of a bitch! Tomizawa, save that anger for the Barracudas. You'd only be wasting it on him. Uh, fuck! Listen up. You're gonna wipe every last charge your boys gave me. Right now? I can't even take a step on this beautiful island without looking over my shoulder. And that pisses me off. All right. Fine. Thank you, officer. Don't forget. We also need access to District 5. You don't know what you're asking. It's not some asinine tourist trap. Believe me, we're not here to play around. We're looking for a girl who's in there. I'll level with you. I can get you in, simple enough. But if the Barracudas found out, there'd be hell to pay. <laughs> you saying they're a bigger threat than I am? Think about that carefully. Okay, okay, let's just be cool here, yeah? Meet me tomorrow in front of District 5. Be there at noon, on the dot. That's more like it. In Hawaii, public indecency's a thousand dollar fine, right? Here. Sorry I won't buy you a sports car. <sighs> Hear you, son. I don't have the words right now, man. Finally, I can walk around free. Looks like you're off the hook for now. Maybe thank Tomizawa sometime.
I could uh, sleep for a week. Uh, oh. I hear you. <sighs> Me, I could sleep for double that. Oh. Oh. How are you still on your feet, Kiryu-san? Uh. I guess you're just built different, huh? I wouldn't say that. I'm barely holding up myself. <laughs> you know what? After today, I think we all could use a drink to lift our spirits. There is ice in the freezer. As for glasses, you can find some in the bar. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'll just grab a couple of these. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> you really held your own today, Tomizawa. <laughs> hey, I've been around the block, man. And one morning, I'm rolling with you, my. Next day, sharing a roof with you two. And soon, we'll be deep in District 5. It's crazy how life switches it up on you. Sorry to drag you into all this. It's a lot. You didn't drag me into nothing. Yeah, I figure this is just part of getting my life together. For real, though, you guys really did save my life. Maybe even my damn soul. And damned or not, I'm not just gonna bail on you. Not after what you did. So, sorry for the inconvenience, but you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. Though, you sure you're okay with what happened? Cutting ties with Yumai and all? Remember what you said at the house? I had a choice, and I made it. Only reason I joined his little syndicate in the first place is because I couldn't pay back what I owed him. And then before I knew it, I was 30, with nothing to show for it. Age doesn't mean squat. It's never too late to turn a new leaf, no matter how heavy it is. You, you think so? Totally. Just look at me, man. I was locked up for 18 years, and when I got out, I was in my 40s. And ever since then, it's been... Uh, how should I put it? <laughs> it's been one wild ride. So chin up, Tommy. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Did you just call me Tommy? Yeah, Tommy. As in Tomizawa. Dude, that's lame as hell. I mean, you could just call me Eric. What? Uh, Tomi's perfect for you. Kiryu-san, back me up. <laughs> Can't say much for the nickname thing. But you're right about turning a new leaf. As long as you stick to it, you'll find yourself in a better place. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I should have poured you in first. <laughs> uh, you... Good with it on the rocks? No thanks. I like to feel the heat. <laughs> Anyhow, just be aware that everything has to end sometime. You can always turn a new leaf. But you can't turn back the clock. All you get is the precious time you're given. That's why you've got to live every last moment to the fullest. I figured I knew that well enough already. But to my surprise, I still had a lot left to learn. Uh, Kiryu-san? Did something happen? Yeah. If anyone deserves to know, it's the guys who have my back. Thing is, I've got cancer. 
seems I've got half a year left, at most. Too long ago, I was working in a temporary waste storage facility for decommissioned reactors. The forklift driver had a sudden heart attack. One accident led to another. You got a death wish? Forget the rest and get out ASAP! The drums weren't filled with much. Contaminated dirt. Worn out components. Protective suits. As far as radioactive waste goes, it was low risk. Low enough for no immediate harm, far as experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. The cancer could have come from just about anywhere. Hold up. What are you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So... This was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing the Daidoji to let me do it. <sighs> and this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. <sighs> Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. <laughs> you know, being educated on the streets and all. Uh, you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. The last thing I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. But then I figured, it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely. For my health. Uh, oh, so... Is that why, back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. <laughs> Though... I am a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight that easy? This shit's unreal. Kiryu-san... Of all people... Man, you don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this! What you need right now is a doctor! Believe me, I've gone. 
Apparently the cancer spread. Metastasized, they called it. Nothing any surgery can fix. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then you need to be getting your rest. You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here? Well, I've got some words for them. Kasuga. No, I'll make this right! Kasuga, it's not like that. <sighs> my being here and everything, that was my decision from the start. If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. But then, why? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <sighs> Think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. Is he for real? Hey, Kaska, you okay? Yeah. I know the guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just crazy. I mean, he's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower, let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. There's a pretty big one here in town. No, it's useless. No one would be enough to stop him now. Huh? Kiryu-san, he had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa-san. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind, too. What, 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 what do you mean? Who did? Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyhow, if that's how Kiryu-san wants it, then there's only one thing we can do. We get this taken care of quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? No, I'm not upset. Still, it did catch me off guard. I just didn't want you guys to worry. Sorry. Guess I only made you more concerned. Well, I mean, how could we not be? But Kiryu-san... Hmm? Seriously, thanks for telling us. If I didn't know and something happened to you, I would have never been able to forgive myself. To be honest, I'd rather drop everything and take you to the hospital straight away. That said, I know how stubborn you are. So, for my sake, do you think you can rely on us a little more? Rely on you? I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed, but we're here too, you know? So, share the load. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy. Right? Right. Mm, I see. All right. Yeah, I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Definitely. Happy to help. 
Right, enough chit chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Make sure you're ready for anything. Tomizawa, is there a good place to go shopping around here? Hmm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? Close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. Stock up there first. <laughs>